Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 3rd, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out some older imagery of our sun the last 48 hours from the 26th to the 28th as Solar Dynamics Observatory has not updated. Must be some pretty big activity coming in right now. Looking at the two days worth of incoming, we did have two pretty active sunspots cresting in. And we've seen, as reported earlier today, a large CME blast coming from the backside of the sun. Gratefully, not in an Earth-facing fashion. Looking at those two days outgoing. As I said, Solar Dynamics Observatory not updating their site right now with images of our sun. Looking at multi-spectrum. Big coronal hole in the northern hemisphere, an active outgoing region there. And right now, we've already been penetrated by the coronal hole wind stream. We saw our wind speeds up over 550, 600 kilometers per second the last three days. Starting to calm down down, starting to calm down now. Watching at 193 angstroms here, blackened regions, coronal hole. Watching one develop in the last few images from the 28th. Be interesting to see what it looks like now. We could have a big earth-facing coronal hole. As you can see it developing in the last few images. Solar X-ray flex calming down to a B range after being up into a long gated C-class range today. Geomagnetic activity, we're sitting at 2.5 for the KP index. Real-time solar wind, just over 425 kilometers per second. And they're starting to pick up after being down just under 400 earlier, from earlier today. Showing here the last 48 hours of imagery of our sun. This is Lasco 3, showing under a blue light. Also a wider spectrum view of all the activity shooting from our sun. Amazing stuff. Thank God that was not in an earth-facing direction. Still some amazing sights to be a part of, though. Sharing information here with daily events worldwide. Thank you for watching. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral, not showing any new CMEs since this morning's update. If you want to see the CME that was directed, please check out the earlier video from today as these trajectories have changed. Watching now up into the 5th and the 6th, space weather incoming. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 5, very low frequency power, also blackout detected. Quality of 6, power of 5, amplitude of 5. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours across the world as we're seeing a slight uptick sitting at about 230 earthquakes across the USGS. Notable and multiple 5.0 and greater magnitude earthquakes today. 5.6 and a 5.5 ringing off here. Bellany Islands regions south of New Zealand. And then a 5.0 earthquake hit the North Island of New Zealand. 4.5 earthquake, 612 kilometer depth. That is the deepest the past 24 hours. Minor activity through Papua New Guinea. As well, a 5.0 here in Lit, Philippines. 5.1 earthquake here off the coast of Japan, Miyako. 4.4 earthquake here reported Uzbekistan, 10 kilometer depth, as well a 4.1 earthquake, Greece, Korani. 4.5 earthquake here, Castelo Branco, Portugal, as well Mid Atlantic Ridge with a 5.6 earthquake, Central Mid Atlantic. South Sandwich Islands seeing earthquakes again, 5.4 and a 4.6 right out front of the Michael Volcano yet again. 
4.8 earthquake here, Nazca Plate, West Chile Rise, as well as 4.5 earthquake, San Juan, Argentina, that's the most recent through South America. Caribbean, quiet today, as well, Mexico seems to be quiet. Minor activity building up into the Pacific Northwest here. 3.2 Benson, Utah, ranging 2.5 to 3.2 as well, 3.0 earthquake there, Northern California, 4.0 earthquake here, Hawaii. An increased activity, but mostly minor through Alaska, according to USGS. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. I always take a quick moment here to thank everybody for your continued love and support for this channel. We are growing immensely just about the top 60,000 followers. Much love, and I appreciate each and every one of you for the shares, the likes, and as well, just the overall love for the information that is shared here. Lots of activity. Nazca Plate into the Antarctic Plate this week. And Pacific Northwest up into the Cascades and Alaska still on watch we have not seen a large earthquake in alaska in quite some time so heads up stay aware prepared from california northward having a look at the pacific disaster center amongst all of the floods and tornado warnings across the gulf states showing satellite imagery from around the world and sharing the most recent volcanoes getting updated swiss and ajima in japan nevada's the ruiz colombia cotopaxi and ecuador Popocatito in Mexico. As well, Sangue in Ecuador. Busy day for volcanoes, it seems. Sabincaya in Peru. This is all in the last three hours. Reventador in Ecuador. Ibu in Indonesia. Fuego, Guatemala. Era in Japan. Krakatoa, Indonesia. That would be Anak, Krakatoa. So that's about 10 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 44 that are active and erupting across the world. Quick glance here, satellite imagery from around the world. Pretty big system affecting eastern United States and up into Canada. Quite a bit of warm moisture and a lot of rain heading into Ontario. Flood alerts across the Grand Valley and as well around areas of Lake Erie. Pretty strong system getting ready to head into California. As well, we've got a big system heading into Australia as it has been lingering now for about nine days and also a pretty big winter storm heading into Kamchatka. Large low pressure center there. These things are really whipping up across the Atlantic or the Pacific right now and the Atlantic for that fact. Quick glance around Europe, Africa, and of course, Russia. No major tropical systems developing across the Atlantic as the season has ended, but still watching some pretty vicious systems develop here. Let's get into the weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and Daily Events Worldwide. We're starting out here, in North America, as we have that big Colorado low. Heading into northeastern parts of the United States right now with a lot of rain ahead of this. Stormy conditions across southeastern United States moving right up the coastline. And it looks like by Thursday it's going to change to snow. But gray and wet days here for the next couple days. Ontario having a look here. Strong system heading into northern California. Going to bring some more rain and windy events. So flash floods are to be on watch through the regions as well later on in the forecast watching these low pressure systems break up the west coast and then a big one here develop in the long range followed by another one big another big one just behind it and tropical moisture developing there in the long range into the 10th watching for eastern parts of canada and the u.s here stormy conditions moving into the Atlantic provinces, Thursday and Friday, as well, a long range here, 
Monday to Tuesday, the 9th into the 10th. Watch for mixed precipitation there. We're looking South America. Daily evaporation rains, but could be heavy at time. A more northward, as well a low moving through Paraguay. But other than that, no major systems affecting you this week. Just the daily evaporation rains. Overlooking Europe, as those systems are starting to make it inland, it's going to start to cool off as well. Watch for those lows to head into Sweden this week and then a race eastward into Moscow. But then by the 8th and the 9th here, watch for a very vigorous system <clears throat> coming through to Italy and affecting most of the coastlines of the Mediterranean. Pretty strong system there. Overlooking Indonesia, Micronesia, Southeast Asia. No major systems here developing in the long range. Just some heavy rains. Other than that, no major systems. Overlooking Australia and New Zealand. Still showing a forecast of this low pressure system, Ellie. Tropical system Ellie is going to race right across the continent, continuing its strength and veracity, and then eventually going to scoot out into the South Pacific, but then watch for another system to develop there in Northern Territory and head Southeast. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, keeping you aware and prepared. God bless humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world